Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a really, really cheap foam cutter to cut your foam wings with. Most of us have got old computers laying around. You take the power supply out of the inside of it. It's only four bolts that remove it from the back side of the computer. Pop it out, and you've got a very, very cheap power supply. If you look on the sides of your power supplies, it actually tells you the voltage that you can use that's available on the wires. You can see I've got a power supply here, right at, uh, still inside the computer. You can see the four bolts that you need to remove in order to take them away. Uh, the voltage is written on the side of this one. It's got 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts. That's the one we're after, positive, negatives, ground, uh, the different things that are associated. So once you've pulled that out of your computer, you have a power supply available here that's got different voltages. Well, everybody knows where there's a computer available that's free. Pull the power supply out of it, assuming that it's not the power supply that's the reason that they've trashed the computer. Now when you look at the connections that are on that uh, power supply, you've got the available connectors right here that are going to give you that. Your uh, yellow wire provides your 12 volt, your red wire provides your 5 volt, your black wires are all of your grounds. What I did is I went down to my local supplier here, my electronics store, and I picked up the female version that gives me those connections. I connected to that, I took my white wire, comes off of my yellow voltage to provide my 12 volt, my black wire connects my ground associated with it. I can just go right ahead, plug that in onto the end of each one of those. I've connected my alligator clips and enough wire that will extend on out to the edges of my cutter. When you're producing your foam cutter, one of the things that you need to recognize is that your power supply on your ATX power supplies won't activate unless you switch it to where the switch is currently on. On your motherboards, you just hit the switch and it powers up your motherboard. But the power switch for the um, for the fan and for the, to activate the power supply is the green wire and you need to short it out with the black wire. So what I've done here is I've taken a paper clip, I just cut it with my pliers and you can actually see that the fan has stopped rotating inside there now. If I activate the green to one of the blacks, and it doesn't matter which one, you can play around until you do, You'll notice now that the fan is actually rotating. That activates the power associated with my power supply. Now I've got my power leads hot, ground, and my hot wire. So as I put them on my bow, I've now got my cutter. The bow is quite simple to make. I made it out of um, dowel rod so that it was flexible. I've actually pulled it and strung some nichrome wire between them. I drilled some holes through it so that it would stay where it was at. I've got another cutter you can see laying here on the bench as well. That cutter is just a piece of nichrome wire. I'll show you how to cut a wing with it in just a second. And that gives me perfect flexibility. I like the alligator clips because I can spread them apart as far as I need so that I can activate my wire for my cutter. When I plug that in, now I've got live wire power. I've got live wire power connected to each one of those. If I connect the alligator clip to both sides of my frame, you'll see it spark a little bit. It goes hot. And within a couple of seconds, I've got myself just the slickest little cutter. And it cost me the cost of the alligator clips, and that was it. I'll show you in the next video how to actually cut a foam wing with this foam cutter.